Hello, Unbreak Me here with a look at the LEGO Minecraft The Frozen Peaks set number 21243. Despite retailing for only $35, it comes packed with a ton of cool functions and many surprises. Honestly, I think that this set provides the best value for the money out of any January 1st set. First, let's take a look at the most exciting function, which is the goat ramming. Whoa! Did you see that? The goat essentially stands on a moving platform, which is how it's able to ram into the skeleton. I greatly appreciate this functionality, since the goat is my favorite animal in all of Minecraft. Another spectacular feature is the exploding mountain. You just put the TNT in a specific spot, press the lever, and a pretty big chunk of the mountain will break away, revealing what's on the inside. As you can see, there is an openable chest here, a yellow bed, a crafting table, and some extra decorations such as the torch. It's quite difficult to find the perfect words to describe this set, since it is extremely unique. Think of it as the 8043 motorized excavator, but of the Minecraft world. That is, the Frozen Peaks is a small and compact set, but packed with many incredible functions, much like the motorized excavator. The snowy tree looks great, I love how it exploits very simple building techniques in order to achieve true beauty. The small flowers here add an extra level of depth to the overall aesthetics. The only issue I have with this set is that it doesn't look good from the right side. I wish that the mountain sloped down instead of being perfectly flat here. Take a look at the side entrance into the cave. The spikes appear to represent a dripstone cave, although I don't think I have ever seen dripstone caves that actually lead out to the surface in Minecraft. However, that isn't an issue at all. In fact, I appreciate that this set packs so much stuff in a tiny package. Look at this Steve figure. First of all, he is carrying a bucket of powdered snow, which is pretty cool. More shockingly though, he is wearing a full set of green armor. In the front of the mountain, there is a clearly visible emerald ore, which makes me think that he is wearing full emerald armor. If emerald armor is something that we actually end up getting in 1.20, then it'll be a dream come true for me, since I have wanted emerald armor ever since I first started playing Minecraft in 2013. Speaking of the minifigures, let's take a look at all of them closely. The creeper figure is the typical one that we have gotten in many previous sets, and the skeleton figure is great too, since he is wearing golden armor. The little goat is also incredibly cute. Who do you think would make a better pet? A tiny goat or a small pig? Please let me know. Are there any disadvantages to this incredible set though? Well, as I have mentioned, the side is flat, but that isn't a big deal. I also often complain about system sets being fragile, but surprisingly, this LEGO Minecraft set is pretty sturdy, and it's easily my favorite LEGO system set out of all of the January sets. There will be one more LEGO Minecraft review, and then it's right back to Technic content. This is your Unbreak Me here, and I'll see you in the next one.